WordPress by itself will give you some search engine optimization, but it's not enough. You need to make it much better and more powerful. So, please allow me to show you at least 13 ways to do that. Default URLs in WordPress are filled with characters and numbers that have nothing to do with your content. This is a very easy fix and takes just seconds to do it. What you really want are your post titles in those URLs, because they contain the SEO keywords that search engines seek. Google has come to love content that is mobile friendly, and you will have a privileged position if you confirm to its desires. What accelerated mobile pages does is lighten your pages and cause them to load faster on mobile. Faster loads mean happy customers and happier Google. You will get a higher ranking. What you have to do here to get started with WordPress SEO is convert your HTML and JavaScript content to accelerated mobile pages. Install and activate the AMP plugin. It will generate accelerated mobile pages and posts from that point forward, but it will not change any of your older content. Yoast SEO is my favorite tool. This plugin will let you write titles and descriptions and will prompt you to write this so that they are SEO optimized. It will give you an analysis of how you are positioned for SEO. This plugin is constantly updated based upon a new algorithms. Don't think that you can just add Yoast and sit back. You can't. For every blog post you write, you need to go through each optimization section and analyze what comes up. You will be shown where are the issues along with suggestions for fixing them. You have to put images in your blog posts. No one wants to read large chunks of text without something to pick their interests. This function is already built into WordPress. All you have to do is access the admin area and choose Media. Choose the images and begin to add all tags, titles and captions. Make sure that the text you add has keywords, but do not stuff them in. You will make Google unhappy. There are those basic snippets that appear anytime a Google search is performed. A small amount of text that appears along with the site. Then there are rich snippets. These are little pieces that appear just below the URL, but before the standard snippets. These little pieces give Google the ability to give better results to a searcher, to be more meaningful in some way. Most often they are images or tidbits of information about ratings by stars or numbers of views. Notice that the first three results have an image or star ratings. These are the rich snippets that gives Google more information. These rich snippets appear because they are programmed to appear. So how do you get started with WordPress SEO in the rich snippets department? Here is what you can do. There is a rich snippets plugin you can install and no coding will be required. The sixth step is about how to protect yourself from hackers and malware. WordPress is vulnerable because it's such a popular platform and it's used by so many. This makes it a popular target. You need to take steps to secure your team, your plugins, your file permissions and your databases. This is so important for SEO because search engines like sites that are secure and rank them higher. This is a simple act. Just install WordFence and you will get monitoring and automatic security upgrades. Now you need to add a cache plugin. When people access websites, they request information and that information is then retrieved by the site so that the user can read it. This can be a slow process on the retrieval side if information or data is not cached or stored. Using a cache plugin allows information to be served up quickly reducing load time, which is always a good thing as far as SEO is concerned. Search engines do not like sites that have a slow load times 
and will penalize them on SERPs. You can install W3 Total Cache for WordPress and resolve this issue pretty permanently. Getting rid of spam comments is easy and simple. Install something like a Kismet or some other comment blocker. You want your blocker to check comments, identify those that are spam, and then report them. Most important, they won't show up on your conversation threads. Engage your users. There's no better way to get started with WordPress SEO than by focusing on how long people hang out on your site or blog. No plugin can do this for you. You are the one who must create great content so that visitors want to stay and read it. The longer you can get visitors to stay, the better search engines view you. Everything you post on your site or blog must be considered a type of content marketing. You want visitors to find your stuff interesting, unique and sometimes entertaining and humorous. This means you have engaging ways to present information, lots of visuals and perhaps a video or two. One thing you can do with WordPress is set up an automatic display of other posts that are related to one a visitor is reading. So, if there is interest, that individual can access other posts on your blog and thus stay even longer. A good thing. Now you need to add social sharing. You have probably already provided for social sharing of your content, but if by chance you have not, install this social media share buttons. The more your content is shared on social media, the more visitors you will get. And the more visitors you get, the better your SEO rankings are. Backing all up is not directly related to SEO, but you can lose everything if your site crashes or disappears. All of your hard work is gone. Don't let this happen. Just install a good backup plugin. Clean up your database. Every time you edit a post, WordPress creates another copy of it. And that includes all comments and other stuff that has collected. All of this take place in your database. Eventually, it slows everything down. You can prevent this and keep your load time up to pair by installing the WP Optimizer. It's free and it will regularly clean up your database. Now, for the final step, just tell search engines where they can go. Unless you put some restrictions in place, search engines will send their spiders through all of your pages for indexing. This is silly, you don't need them in your admin area or in your CSS file. So, you can create a robot.txt file that directs them properly. Install this plugin to create that file then upload it to your root folder. Most of these tips to get started with WordPress SEO are quite technical and they are important. But understand this, while they may enhance your SEO, they will never take the place of your content quality. You have to have amazing content, engaging content, compelling content and content that people want to share.